today I'm going to be showing you how I created this live edge plant stand using only a slab of wood and some table legs. These live edge projects are really trending right now. As you can see here, I also created a live edge coffee table for my living room. And if you haven't already, please check out my last video of my living room tour where I talk more in detail of how I created this coffee table. All right, so I'm gonna be working here on this worktop table with the live edge. We're gonna need the polyurethane clear satin. It's gonna dry super clear with a little bit of sheen. And you're gonna need a old paintbrush that will handle the polyurethane that you're probably not gonna use for anything else except polyurethane. And you're gonna need a sander just to smooth out the ridges a little bit. Um, technically, you would want to use a planner just to smooth out the top. So before you start, make sure you have a pair of goggles and a face mask because when you're sanding, you're going to want to avoid inhaling any of the sawdust. <laughs> Remember to sand with the grain of the wood for a more smooth finish. So here you'll see I just smoothed out the edges a little bit and I went and sanded in this motion to kind of get of a smooth edge on the edge instead of really sharp. And I'm gonna do it, flip it and do it on the other side. So I have the wood completely sanded down. It still has a couple ridges in it from the saw of when they cut the tree but I don't have a planner so we're just gonna let it be as is and it'll still look fine and I just have it propped up on this old chair for when I paint and I coat it with the poly and it'll just drip off any excess and we'll just clean that up as we go along there's a polyurethane this milky consistency and Technically, you're supposed to put this in a container and then dip your brush so it doesn't get the inside of your container dirty, but I'm not doing that. Remember to wipe down your piece once it's been completely sanded. You want to work with a smooth, clean finish before you put on the poly. And when applying your first coat of poly, you definitely want to make it thin as possible you don't want it to be very thick because it's going to take longer to dry and you're going to need a couple of coats before this project is complete just to make sure that it's very secure on top the wood is definitely going to soak up at least the first or two layers so you're going to put one layer on very thinly and then go ahead with the second coat after about an hour and as you're applying it make sure to keep wiping those edges to avoid any drip marks because once the drip marks dry you're going to need to sand those down for a more smooth finish so it's best to get it while it's wet and clean it up and this is what it looks like with the first coat as you can see, it's already brightened up those rich colors in the walnut wood. We're going to let this dry for about an hour and then we'll come back and put on our second coat. And if we need more, we'll keep applying more, but I think two coats should be good. And now we're back inside where I have the wood flipped over to apply the legs. You'll need some drill bits. A drill, a ruler, 
and a pen or pencil for your marks. For the legs, I got a set of four for $3 at Habitat Humanity Restore and I just painted them in this matte black chalk paint. Here I'm just looking for a spot to put my drill holes for the legs. I measured two inches in on each side and then made a mark for where I was going to drill. And I did this on all four sides, making sure that all my measurements were even. So when the table had the legs on, it'll be leveled evenly. And now that my marks are made, I can begin to drill the holes. Here you'll see me just trying to figure out which size drill bit to use for the screw that's already in the leg. Making sure that I choose one that isn't too small or too big to make sure that the leg stays nice and tight and secure inside of the wood. Once my hole was made, I just screwed in the leg and it was very nice and tight. And then I just went on and did the same for all other sides. is the finished look I absolutely love it the legs match perfectly with the top and I'm just so happy with how it turned out Thank you guys for watching. I really love how the results came out. Hopefully you'll be inspired to recreate this look for your own space. Please give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel for more DIYs.